and welcome back my dear student and you know we are learning some chemistry particularly engineering chemistry as per the ICT or Macau syllabus and in the previous class we have discussed particle in one dimensional box the preliminary idea next we will proceed to some other properties of particle in one dimensional box and we will learn the application of so how application of Schrodinger equation can help us to deduce different kind of properties of particle in one dimensional box okay in the first class we learned just one minute we learned up to this that we actually constructed Schrodinger equation for particle in one dimensional box you can remember that we put the potential energy value v and we also simplified the Laplacian operator and ultimately the equation reduced to this form that is d2 psi by dx2 is equal to minus 8 pi square m by h square e psi okay the equation was of in this kind of form and we discussed these things in the previous class i hope you can remember this let's say we assign this equation as equation equation 1 okay this is equation 1 now you can rearrange this equation in this way that d2 psi by dx2 plus 8 pi square m by h square e psi will be equal to 0. See this is equation 2. Now the equation 1 let we just replace this portion of equation 1 with k square for our certain convenience okay this will help to you know this is the constant and this will help us to solve the Schrodinger equation in more simplified form that is why we are now replacing this 8 pi square m e by e square by k square okay then the equation will be reduced to d2 psi by dx2 will be equal to minus k square psi so k square is equal to ultimately 8 pi square m by h square into e so this is actually k square now this equation is a very simple differential second order differential equation this is say equation 3 very simplified you can solve this equation with your knowledge of higher secondary now the general solution of this kind of equation is given by let allow me to clear the canvas okay, okay. this kind of equation can be solved and the general solution will be like this there are many solution i am talking about just one solution that is psi is equal to a shine kx plus b cos kx this is one solution of one of the many solutions of Schrodinger equation okay see this is equation form four now so you can solve the Schrodinger equation and equation one of the solution will be in this form uh, if you put psi value in the equation equation number uh, equation number one or equation number two if you put the value then you will find that the answer this psi will satisfy the equation so no problem with that it is simple mathematics now this a and b are the arbitrary constant that has been actually generated during the process of the integration now our task is to determine this the con this constant value a and b okay so how you can do that you can find out you can find out find out k i mean a and b by applying boundary condition boundary condition condition and normalization normalization condition actually we will find out a by normalization condition applying normalization condition and b can be uh, find out by applying the boundary condition okay now let's remind the model a particle in one dimensional it, it was looked like this okay you can remember this so we have plotted x in this direction 
and here x is equal to 0, here x is equal to L. This is one dimensional along x direction and potential energy outside this box is V infinity, here also V infinity, but inside the potential energy is V is equal to 0. This is the actual model and we derived Schrodinger equation, actually we constructed Schrodinger's equation uh, using this kind of model. Okay. So, at the boundary, you know, uh, we have already assumed that we have already told that the particle will remain bound to move to and fro inside the box. It will never go outside the box because of the high potential work. Okay. So, particle will go here and there backward and forward. Okay. So, the probability of finding the particle is 100 percent within inside this box. So, probability means psi square. So, psi square must be greater than 0 inside the box any at any point. So, that means psi will be greater than psi will be psi will, will not be equal to 0 okay, inside the box, but outside the box since the particle will never go out from the inside of the box in the outside psi is equal to 0 that is at x is equal to L greater than equal to L the psi will be 0 that is x is equal to greater than I mean uh, less than equal to 0 when x will be less than equal to 0 or less than 0 in the negative point, negative axis, the psi will be equal to 0 and similar is the case for x is equal to greater than equal to 0. Here also uh, x value is L, so at L, x is equal to L, at x is equal to L, at x is equal to L, sorry one minute, at x is equal to, one minute, at x is equal to L, the psi again will be x is greater than equal to L, I am telling, telling about greater than equal to L, the psi will be 0, here in this, I am talking about this region, here the psi will also be 0 and here when x is less than equal to uh, 0, the psi value will again be 0. So, psi will be 0 here, that means there is no any probability of finding the particle outside the box. So, this is actually called the boundary condition. So, at boundary condition, I mean at x is equal to, if I simplify this, at x is equal to 0 or x is equal to L in both case psi will be equal to 0. So, this is the boundary condition. If we apply this boundary condition to the equation 4, we will be able to firstly the evaluate the value of the constant b and let us try, try that. Okay. So, I am clearing again the canvas. Okay. So, we can now write, so equation say at, at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0, the general solution is, you can remember the general solution is A sin k x plus B cos k x, this is the general solution. Now, you put 0 because we are considering x is equal to 0. So, in place of x, you should put 0. So, and in that case, what will be the value of psi? I have just told the value of psi will be 0. So, A sin k into 0 plus B cos k into 0 will be equal to 0, psi will be 0 here. Okay. Now, sin 0 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1. So, ultimately the from this equation we got the constant b will be equal to 0. So, now the equation has been reduced to psi is equal to a sin k x since b equal to 0, the equation has now been reduced to this form that is sin psi is equal to a sin k x psi is equal to a sin k x. Now, you should apply the other boundary condition at the other, the other boundary condition and what is that? That is at a x is equal to L, psi will also be equal to 0. Now, if we apply this, the equation will be reduced to this form a sin k instead of x we will now write k l that is x is equal to l plus this will be equal to this will be equal to so b is equal to 0 so I am just putting the value of x in this equation. Okay. See so, this is equation 4a. Okay. The previous equation was 4 this is equation 4a. So, ultimately a sin k l is equal to 0. Now, it will satisfy this equation will be satisfied if a is equal to 0 or sin k l will be equal to 0. Now, you say one interesting point, 
if a be equal to 0, a can never be equal to 0 because if a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0, so at every value of x, psi will be equal to 0. But we know the particle will remain inside the box. So, at any value of x, I mean say this is 0, this is L and this is something will be in the midpoint x will be equal to L by 2, in L by 2 x will be equal, uh, psi will be equal to uh, 0 at L by 4, say this is L by 4 at this position, this is one fourth of L, at this position also psi will be equal to 0, but we know that is not possible because if psi be equal to 0, then psi square will also be equal to 0, that is the probability of finding the particle inside box, the whole box will be 0. This is not the factor, the particle is residing here, it is going uh, here and there inside the box. Okay. So, A will never be equal to 0. So, we are left with only one thing that is sin K L is equal to 0, that is this, this is equal to 0. Let us say this is equation 5, okay. sin K L is equal to 0, this is the accepted value for the solution of this kind of equation. Now, if sin K L is equal to 0, then what will happen? Just one minute. So, a a sin k l is equal to 0 from here we can get a will not be equal to 0 that means a will not be equal to 0 that means sin k l will be equal to 0 to satisfy equation 5 just I have told and if sin k l will be 0 then k l or k l must be equal to n pi, k l must be equal to n pi. So, this is a very conclusive, very interesting result that is k will be equal to n pi by l. From this relation actually we can derive the energy for the expression, energy expression for particle in one dimensional box. Now, k is equal to n pi by l and, and n is what? n is nothing but integer like 1, 2, 3, but it will never be 0. So, this is the accepted solution for equation 5, okay, k is equal to n pi by L. Now, we know previously that k square, that, that was equation 3, that is k square is equal to 8 pi square m e by h square, this is the value of k square and that was actually equation 3, we have already learned that. Now, from this equation, that is equation, this is equation, say 6, from this equation, we can say k square is equal to n square pi square by L square. So, now put this, say this is equation, say this is equation 7, okay. This is equation 7. Now, you put equation 7 in equation 3. So, what will be the result? The result will be, I am written here, k square, I mean k square means n square pi square by l square is equal to 8 pi square m e by h square. Okay. So, from here, e is equal to, that is energy for particle in one, energy of the particle in one dimensional box will be equal to, you see this pi square pi square will cancel out. So, ultimately E will be is equal to this n square h square by 8 m l square. This is very, very important expression. That is, I say this is equation 8, okay. Very, very important expression. This is the expression of the energy in particle in one dimensional box. Let allow me to clear this, all these things. So, we have got the energy of the particle in one dimensional box is equal to E is equal to n square h square by 8 m l square. So, when n be equal to 1, that is at the ground state, the energy of the particle will be 1 square h square by 8 m l square when n will be equal to 2, it will be equal to 2 square h square by 8 m l square, that is 2 square mean 4 h square by 8 m l square. So, in this way, 
So, similarly in zero to 3 is different excited state we can get. Now, I will discuss more in the next class about the energy, plotting of the energy and we will uh, again derive some interesting conclusion, we will deduce some interest, uh, interesting conclusion from that discussion in the next day. Let just, uh, let just think actually what is psi now. We have find out that A is not equal to 0 okay? and sin A sin k x, now k is equal to we have already derived k is equal to in the equation 6 most probably n pi by l, k is equal to n pi by l into k x, that means this. So, actually psi is this, you know psi is very important and I talked about uh, postulate of quantum mechanics in the previous class to some extent and the first postulate was uh, like that, that every system can be described in terms of psi, psi is very important. If we know the what is psi for a particular system, here we have known it is a sin n pi by l x, we still do not know what is the value of a, it will have some value and we will actually derive in the next class what is the value of a. So, if we know this value of the constant, then we will get the complete solution for the Schrodinger equation that is we will get the psi. Let us say it is uh, here n is here in suffix I am written here psi n because uh, it will be when it will be psi 1 the equation will be like that a sin 1 pi y l x when psi will be equal to 2 uh, I mean n, is, n will be equal to that is psi 2 that is the first excited state will be a sin 2 pi y l x and so on. So, there will be many solution of the Schrodinger equation and all these kind of solution are acceptable solution and I have also discussed the condition of the acceptability of different kind of psi. All these are uh, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 and these are all acceptable psi for particle in one dimension. So, this is uh, we have reached to this conclusion that psi n will be equal to this psi n I mean the wave function for particle in one dimension will be like this, will be like this is very important a sin uh, n pi by l is uh, l into x okay? and the energy for particle in one dimensional box will be equal to n square h square by 8 a 8 m l square uh, and there will be many numerical problem associated with this particular expression. So, please remember this ex expression always okay I told that this is equation 8 okay always remember and psi. Next day we will in next uh, actually class we will discuss more on uh, energy plotting of energy and tell about some other properties of the energy in particular in one dimensional box along with the discussion of psi. We will find out the value of A in the next class and then if we know psi and magically we will be able to derive many kind of properties we will able to come to conclusion that what will be the momentum of the particular particle in one dimensional box, position, energy, etc. And energy we have already got an expression and from psi we can also get the expression for the energy and we will then verify whether it is right or wrong. Okay. Of course, it will be right and up to that, bye bye.